guys, what's going on? Welcome to the 22nd Pi Game tutorial from Harrison from youtube.com slash Centex for Bucky and the New Boston. In this video, what we're going to be covering here is we're going to kind of backtrack a little bit, not for the game itself, but I do want to cover a topic that might go otherwise missed if I don't cover it now. And that is the crossing over of boundaries. So in our case, every crossover and boundary has been kind of avoided, right? We've, we've avoided needing to write true crossover boundary code because we've just gotten lucky because our, our objects are all the same, like, a, well, at least on the, uh, the edges of the screen, really easy, it's just did you cross over any X or Y. But when we're crossing over objects, it just so happens that we're getting really lucky with Pygame because we've kind of made our game to be very simple. But in a lot of respects, in a lot of games, you're not gonna get away with things being that simple. So a lot of times the two objects that might cross over are not identical in size. So for example, what if our apple was slightly bigger? So let's go down to the where our apple is drawn and that would be right here. So our apple is drawn here and the question is um, our apple's drawn there, and then this is where we're calling the uh, apple question. So there's going to be a lot of commenting out here. Um, and my dog is making a lot of noise back there. Hey, man. You're going to have to keep it, up, keep it down, all right? Filming a video. Yeah. He understands. He's very sorry, by the way. Um, okay, so for our, for our stuff that we need to, to modify here, uh, first of all, let's go ahead and we're going to comment out basically all of this for now. So if you don't know, here's a little trick to commenting things out in bulk. You can use triple quotes to do like multi-line quotes uh, or multi-line comments rather. Uh, you can also do it with multi-line strings. But anyway, um, a, neat, a neat little trick is Alt-3 if you're an IDLE and then the uncomment is Alt-4. But Alt-3 to do like a big block of code like that, boom, done, nice. And then uh, we're going to do that same thing. We're just going to comment out this one. Well, we're not going to comment this out, actually. We're going to modify this. So where it says pygame.draw.rect, game display red, all of that, instead of block size, well, actually, let's, let's make another uh, variable in theory. And that variable would be apple uh, thickness. And we'll say apple thickness is 30, or 30 pixels. So normally we define this like up in the script, but this isn't going to stay here for very long. I just want to do this quick example for you guys. So, and then we're going to say that apple, so oops, <laughs> define that variable for nothing. Apple thickness and then apple thickness. So now when we go to run this, here's our snake and then here's our apple. And actually my face will be over that, so it's smoother. Here's our snake or apple. And we come down here and we're running over the apple, but it's not, we're not eating it. So what do we have to do? Well, we have to move over one and then we could eat the apple. Although even in this case, we already commented out that code. Uh, let me, let me go uncomment that code. Oh, Amateur. Um, that was this code right here. So we can uncomment that and let me run that one more time. Uh, so there's our apple and we're running over our apple but we're not actually eating it but if we cross over that top left hopefully we will eat it if I can get over there there we go there we go again okay so so that's how um, it's working right now but as you can see it's kind of finicky because we it only works if we cross over that top left portion so how might we write some code that would cover a smaller object over a larger object or vice versa so let's go ahead and comment this stuff out again and now what we need to do is, is write some code that is going to handle uh, this this difference so when we have crossover you know I always like to do this in paint um, so if you've gone through some of my tutorials you'll see me that I draw these things in paints and I'm really good at it so um, I don't really need to hear y'all's opinion on it if you if you want to give it and say it like it's awesome that's okay um, but if you say I'm not very good at paint, I just know you're lying. So this is our snake, so to speak. And then we've got our apple. And um, <laughs> I am pretty bad at this. <laughs> so here's our apple. And then we've got our snake. And so the question is, how do we know when there's actual crossover? Because when the snake is here, we're crossing over 
these these boundaries, right? The uh, the y boundaries are being crossed over. So in theory, you know, like these boundaries here, right? We're within the boundaries there, but we're not within the x boundaries, right? So between these two, no, these two. So we have to ask: Are we within um, both the between the x boundaries and the y boundaries? We have to be in between both of those boundaries. So how do we know what those boundaries are? Well, um, we do. We know what the um, the x is, right? So the x is this boundary. Ish. It's not crooked like that, but that's the x boundary. So we know that's the x boundary. And then how do we know where this x boundary is? Well, we know what the thickness is of the box, right? So we can say this boundary plus the thickness, boom, we've got that boundary. So by the same token, we know this is the y boundary. How do we know about the other y boundary? Well, it's y boundary plus thickness, right? So there's that boundary. So then we'll eventually know if the snake is is actually in uh, that box. So if the snake was, you know, here, we will know it because it will be within all of those uh, limits. So let me close out of this epic paint job, and we'll come down. Um, basically, here was where we were asking the question before, so we can just code it all right here. And this is kind of a longer question. So we've got apple thickness, pi game, dot split, I'll update. Um, I don't really want to draw this below the update, but I guess that's okay. It doesn't, hasn't seemed to bother us before. So we have some long if statements incoming. So the question is, uh, if we're in between those two x's, so for example, if lead underscore x is greater than or equal to rand apple x and lead um, underscore x underscore lowercase x is less than or equal to a uh, rand apple x plus apple thickness, and I think we capitalized the a, so capitalize the a. So if that's the case, then we've got x crossover, and then we just need to copy and paste this for the most part. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy this and paste that. So, and then we're gonna say if lead y is greater than or equal to rand apple y and lead y is less than or equal to rand apple y plus apple thickness, if those things are the case, then we wanna execute the same code as we executed before, right? This stuff right here. So I'm just gonna go copy, put it down here, over, paste. And then we'll just highlight this control four, or alt four rather, and then we'll tab it over. And then now, hopefully we'll, we'll trigger these crossovers. So let's go ahead and save and run that and make sure that works. There we go, got that one good, that one, oops, ran over ourselves, amateur. Uh, that one good, we'll get this one over on the middle. This one good over there. Okay, so we're pretty confident that's working. So uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to say on like this topic. We're going to go back to making our apple just the single thickness. But I did just want to show you guys because this is too easy anyway. But I did just want to show you guys in case the uh, objects have deferring sizes, how you can handle that, and they're not on like some crazy grid structure like we're, we've got going on here. So anyway. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be moving back to the old code and all of that, but I did just want to show this. So anyway, hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Teach some programming, man. Teach programming. That's not programming.